Well, hey, folks, how are y'all doing? And oh, man, welcome back. And oh, what do you got going on today, Tom? I, I've got some beef ribs. Uh, prep is uh, really easy on these. There is a silver skin on the back. Uh, the only difference between these and like pork ribs is this is really quite, it, it's, it's, it comes off, but it's hard to pull off and it's thick and there's a fair amount of fat. So prepped all that up. Uh, I got this, I put a little olive oil. I got a little olive oil on this side and then we're just going to use some uh, some dry rub here from, uh, yeah, that's right, break out the big dicks and uh, let's uh, just get that on there. This stuff is uh, very good for this and uh, we're going to be cooking this today on the pellet grill. So we're going to be doing doing this on the Rectech pellet grill and uh, I have not had good success with doing beef ribs and uh, so I'm really, a, a co-worker had said he had done some last week. And done them real low and slow, and said they were great. So that made inspired me to say, okay, let's try this again. So we're gonna go low and slow on the Rectech, uh, probably 200, and just let it go for like maybe eight hours or seven hours or whatever. Uh, we are gonna spritz it occasionally with some apple juice, and uh, see you down at the grill. Hey folks, down at the grill, and uh, we got the Rectech set at uh, 200. You can see she's right at 197, doing great. Oh, 198, and. Um, it's been three hours since it's got on, so let's take a look at our ribs here. I, I have been spraying them, I've sprayed them twice so far with some apple juice. So let's take a quick look. Oh yeah, looking mighty nice. Starting to pull back a little bit on those bones. It's actually looking really nice. So we're gonna keep on going on these. Uh, I honestly do not know how long this is going to take. So stay tuned and uh, you'll find out when I find hey, out. Hey folks, welcome back. It's been four hours. Uh, you can see how much grease has already come out of it, and that's just one rack of ribs, and they, I had this thing clean, so I had changed it out, had a new tinfoil on there. Uh, if you notice, I did upgrade my bucket on my Rectech Mini, put the full-size bucket on there, and uh, if you're wondering what I'm using there, what that white thing is, I've actually got a liner going in there, and uh, if you can see it, uh, this is the liner right here. It's called Drippy's Pellet Grill Drip Bucket Liners. I found it on Amazon. So let's take a quick look at our uh, at our ribs here. And uh, oh man, look at that! Looking mighty nice. Let's do a toothpick test here, folks. I, I tell you what, there isn't much resistance there. I'm thinking another hour at most and these will be done so we'll give you a look see in about an hour well hey folks oh man look at that that was five and a half hours uh like i said i didn't know how long these were going to take but i did the toothpick test and they are they are done so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cover them tent them with uh some tin foil and let these sit like this for another half an hour or so then we'll give you a look -see. all right folks it's been about 30 minutes actually a little bit longer let's uh take a look at our our ribs, oh man, yeah. I'm telling you what, they, they look mighty fine. Let's let's go right in the center here. Get one of our bones out there. Give you a look see at it. And you can see a little bit of a smoke ring there. Should I take a taste? Let, let's take a taste, shall we? Oh, wow. All right. I didn't even put sauce on there. That is really good. Folks, if you're wondering where I got these from, I got these from Walmart. I went to Walmart this morning looking for something different, and I saw these, and I said, okay, well, whatever. Let's see if these work. And um, that was five and a half hours at 200 on the Rectech pellet grill. That I let them sit for a half an hour. Uh, I used the Big Dick's rib rub on there. There's no sauce, there's no nothing. Just on the grill at 200. You know, set it and forget it. And I, I, I'll tell you what, folks, so you're crazy if you don't try, try this. That, this is awesome. So I'm gonna continue eating here and uh, let you go back to it. And you know, folks, I appreciate you watching, I really do. Tom Horseman at YouTube, uh, once again, I can't say it enough. Thank you, and I appreciate you watching. Have a great day.